All right, so we got a couple of these uh, boxes here to open up. I opened up one already. And I see you got the Tom Murphy, that's the 20, 50th, 50th anniversary. You got Evan Longoria. And you got Tommy Henry. It's like uh, 159 out of 375. And then Nick Bavetta, that's gonna be the black border. So usually like one variation. And this one actually, the one I opened was a hot box. So we actually got all these purple refractors. Garrett Cole, Bobby Wood Jr., Christopher Morrell, Hallie Richman, Ted Zane, a few. So you got like, well, you know, every pack had to have one of those purple ones. So we'll kind of see what till we got now with these other ones. Okay, that's going to be another 75th, 50th anniversary of Steve Hargan. So let's see here. How did I... There's some things I was thinking like... You know what... Um, oh, what what pack had what, you know, what, or what row had what. I think it was like, like that there. So we'll see what... You know, as far as... Let's kind of move that down over here. So there's that one. Bye, Kristen, Josh Snow. Here we are, that's going to be flipped around. That's going to be, man, that means it's going to be one of the um, short prints. Because now it's like one out of 100 are going to be short prints instead of the, the 401 to 500. And the other thing is like they have like a white bordered card now. Kind of worn. There's like one. And then you got these uh, Ernest Renavages. Averages. So there's another, another one of those that's been flipped around. So you should about like nine, nine of the short prints. This just came out this what Wednesday. Henry Davis, that's a Colin Kalzer, he had a couple home runs. There's a Cunha Jr. Okay, grab roll. And usually you just get like one numbered card per box. Which, you know, kind of seems like maybe they could up that up to a couple. Yeah. Man, with shot on there. Front of two T's of New Age Performers. Here's Aaron Judge, a judge. Yeah, we'll put that there. Some Ricky cards there. And you get like these uh, 73 years of Topps baseball cards. 1951 to 2023. And so they got like a bunch of these uh, most popular players. You know, Luis Camposano. To be a short print. So yeah, so this card 67, yeah. So that's kind of how they, they do it now. You don't have to worry about it. Or know knowing what uh, which ones were what. There's another one there. That's uh, 
1951, Roy Campanella. That might be Yogi Berra. And of course, there's Max barking. Yeah, this is like the 1975 design. Baseball flashback, so that'd be a Lou Brock there. Matt Olson. Yeah, I think we'll kind of do this one here. Max. Oh, a treat. I think I'll give these guys a treat. There you go. There you go. Okay. And there's a 1959 Ernie Banks and Ellie Fox. Peston Kajurstad, I guess that's how you pronounce him. And there's Cosme Grandol. That's 2013. My go up with Carol and Andrew McCutcheon. Those five wheel players. Remember Valdez, who is on the DL now, IL, DL. And oh boy, this is going to be a numbered card. Paul Goldschmidt. Six out of 75. Bam. How about that? And new age, new age performers. I'm, I'm thinking, okay, this guy's an old guy. Well, somewhat. That's like Jim Constant and for new age performers. Usually, the new age performers are kind of not necessarily players that have been playing around for a lot. They're usually, you know, not second year, second year probably. Kevin Williams, because the high, the high series will have a rookie, rookie performers. the new age performer, that should be like somebody that's uh, kind of relatively new, less than, more than a year, because you have the rookie ones, there's Christian uh, Christian Strand, Devin Williams, who's another player on the, on the IL, and this guy's Mickey Moniak, okay, that's a short print there, it's 45, and there's, um, 2006. And yeah, you find like a couple of those uh, white border cars that usually go two in a box. And there's 73 years, so that'd be a show Italian. Ronald Cooney Jr. They also got the years at uh, the current, that's the 2023 design. Henry Bibby. Trout there, and then Clay and Kershaw, that's 2014. Shane Bieber is hurt, and then, then and now, you got Joe Morgan and Juan Soto. Tyler Wells. Bailey, 
And then there's gonna be another, oh, and there's Ellie De La Cruz right there. How about that? It's gonna be one of the people that, uh, people are gonna wanna you know, get his card, rookie card. There's like a cutoff. You can come up and are called up after a certain date and then you can't be in that series. You have to wait a year. And then this is going to be 1999. So that's, that's going to be. Yep, Ivan Rodriguez and Chipper Jones over the 1999 most popular players. Oh, and there we go, Nick Lodolo. So that seems to be. The thing is, like, you're going to get uh, 1997, that's uh, Larry Walker and Ken Griffey Jr. is an MVP's. Yeah. So that might be the thing is, like, all these boxes, you either get an autograph, jersey, or a kebab. And it seems like that's kind of one of those things, you, cases you're getting the jersey. Seems like that's why I've seen a lot of people pull his jerseys. I saw one guy earlier today, as I was opening up my box, and he opened up. And he was a Zach Gallen, Spencer Strider, Zach Eflin, and Chris Bassett. So he pulled a, a signature. And there's a fireman, which they used to call closers back then. They used to call them firemen. Bo Bichette, new age performer. Christian Walker. And then this is gonna be another one of those flipped around. And they usually get like a variation in there, in the black border. That's not, they're not numbered, but they're essentially out of 50. You know, Alonzo, Garrett Cole, Chris Stratton, and then you get, like, say, there's one of those, and there's Pete Crow Armstrong, another one of the rookie cards. On the white border, you get like uh, two, oh, it's, it runs about two per box. Spencer Torkelson. That's Ray Ruiz. And there's Fred Lynn there. The flashbacks, baseball flashbacks. So, what I've done is like figure, okay, the, this pack here, yeah, two, one, two. This one's usually, you know, if you've opened up a, a box that's, you know, not open. This is where the jersey should have been, but we already got one. So maybe they've moved it. And, you know, some things that's possible, it's possible that when I moved, you know, moved the rover. And there's Dusty Baker. They got some uh, managers from years past. Mike Schmidt, George Brett. Green, there he's having a pretty good year, it looks like. 
Got clarity. Yeah, so New Age Performers, uh, Giancarlo Stanton. He's been around for like a long time. It's like, kind of thinking that's kind of a little odd to have, have that. Kristen Yelich, Hugh Darvish, Wayne Herzog with the Royals. Bobby Witt, Bobby Witt Jr. And that's going to be Harold Ramirez. And that'd be 1957, Mickey Mantle and Hank Aaron as the most valuable players. Oswaldo Cabrera. Mike Yosemite. And there's your second one, Alec Thomas. And there's a Hilary Rodriguez. Hilary Rodriguez. That's a pretty good one. Where he doesn't, you know, you got a little bit, a little bit of like a two different uh, colors in there. Barely see it. World Series game three. Hmm. It's gonna wear some red. It is Jaws. Okay, that's box number one. So, put some of these back in there. like their old 70s design, the blue and red. They kind of had black for a while there, and they even wore like a, they wore like a shorts one year. Their um, owner, Bill Vick, V-E-E-K, he was, um, had a disco night where they, <laughs> They destroyed a lot of things. It was the end of disco. a lot of these cards like when I was a kid but um, I didn't really buy a lot of this year in 1975 you only bought like one pack you know cruise there's that that's kind of in a Vietnam War so they got like some cultural stuff that's happened from like uh, 50 years ago. And then there's 
is going to be your flipped over card. Thank you, Aaron and Mickey Mantle, 1957, most valuable players. New Age performers of Carmen Carroll. I'm going to go this one here in the middle. Shot on there. And there's a new age performers of Aaron Judge. The 1971 most valuable is Joe Torrey of the Cardinals and Vita Blue of the Athletics. Vita Blue Jr. again. And there's Isaac Prayer it is. And then Dick Williams as the Angels manager. It's kind of weird that they uh, started here. He uh, managed for the Oakland A's and also Boston Red Sox before that. Won a couple championships and made to the World Series with Boston, and that's probably when he, they lost to the Cardinals and Bob Gibson. And there's like same with the red, and there's 81, that's uh, Rolly Fingers and Mike Schmidt. And then you got uh, 1951. Roy Campanella, like I said, that's gonna be Yogi Bear. Oh, and there's your, there's your black boy there, Dane Dunning. So that's gonna be my variation of this one. You know, sometimes you don't want the actual variation. Sometimes you want. Not the black border, but like either like a nickname. And there's, it's gonna be called the Fisk. That's not the, during the uh, home run at the, um, it's uh, in the World Series against uh, Cincinnati Reds. I see him jumping up and down, trying to wave it fair. That was game six. Colin Kowser, Alcuni Jr. And here's Felix Batista. Another one of those short prints from the one to the 100. And green, there's the Bryson Start. That's going to be your white border. Which is just one of those things that uh, you kind of see barely up there. What it is. Okay, so I kind of think I figured the 
What was that? So maybe this here. This one side here. This is where probably the number of cards coming out. And this one on the far left will be the one that has the uh, autograph or jersey. Last year was this one over here in the middle on this little second. And there's that Bruno Jewelry. Number 20. But, you know, like I said, that's only if, if you open up a box. You know, if you go to the shop and buy a pack and they've they got the box there, it's like there's no guarantee that somebody else has, you know, picked it out. Oh, well, I guess this is a side here, maybe. How's the LBs? And that's going to be a bat. And Malachi, so yeah, I see that Cal Chicago. I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can see like he's wearing shorts. <laughs> they really don't like that, the players. Plus, if you think of your sliding home or whatever, that could, could be rough. I mean, most times, I think uh, the Comiskey Park back in the 70s had like also turfing the infield and the outfield was the uh, grass so there's that there 1959 90, Nelly Fox and Ernie Banks and there's Kyle Finnegan there And there's a new age performers of Mike Trout, so kind of interesting to see that. We have that. So I guess then we should find uh, the number card in this stack here. Uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> Paul Colchman. Uh, let's see here. That's $9.99. Like like nine forty eight out of nine ninety nine, and like years past, it was like always like uh on this side here, and then you also get that here's that the the number card for the short print. about 30 minutes so we can wrap it up and then now with Jim Palmer and Framber Valdez And then you get your 
sharp point. All right, so you got two left. So we're almost done. Gotta be a lot of cleanup over here. Clean up on all five. Zaknado. And that's 2017. Jose Altuve and then Giancarlo standing with the Marlins. And last pack. Christopher Morrell there. That's going to be 2019. Cody Bellinger and Mike Trout as the most valuable players. And there's the Mookie Betts. And then the 1986 with the Roger Clemens and Mike Schmidt. That wraps it up. So, how's the Albies? Is this uh, pretty much the uh, jerseys? The bat? Another dog cruise. I don't remember if I got any other rookie cards that were really the hot ones. And then two Paul Goldschmidt's. So that's uh, 2024 with Aaron Judge. All right, have a good one.